Hello, good evening. I mean, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. How are you? How are you this afternoon, guys? Good. Great. Great, okay. <laughs> Welcome back. Let me just open the attendance so we can start with our attendance right away. Got a lot to cover today. Okay, let's do our attendance first. Vamos a pasar la lista primero. Por favor, me dicen here or present. If that's the case, today is Monday, April 12th. Lunes 12 de abril, okay? Ana Lidia Hernández Pérez. Present. Thank you. Ana Silvia Rodríguez Osorio. Yes. Thank you. Andrea Esmeralda Arevalo Campos. Carlos José Blanco de León. Carolina Elizabeth Hernández Amaya. Dalia Lilibet Sánchez. Present. Present, teacher. Carolina. Uh, Carolina, thank you. Okay, Dania Angélica Merlos Valle. Present. Thank you. Dora Alicia Rauda. Present. Thank you. Stephanie Yamilet, Ayala Acosta. Fátima Karina Rodríguez Ábalos. Present. Thank you. Hazel Francela Cruz Gil. Present. Thank you. Jeremías Alexander Rivas Leiva. Okay. José Mario Hernández Santos. Okay. Karen Astrid Luna Portillo. Present. Thank you. Karen Stephanie Arguete Escobar. Yes, Carla Beatriz López Mejía. Yes, Carla Beatriz López Mejía. Kenia Serina Castillo Franco. Present. Thank you. Laura Bertila Campos Claros. Present. Thank you. Laura Carolina Mejiba Argueta. I'm here. Thank you. Leonel Hernández Pérez. Present. Thank you. Lady Julisa Recinos Portillo. Lorena Yesenia Méndez Trejo. Thank you. Mario Ernesto Mejía Portillo. Mario Ernesto, not here yet. Okay. Uh, Mary Abigail Fuentes de Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Albino Hernández Pérez. Thank you. Santos Miguel Martínez Portillo. Present teacher. Excellent. Saraí Abigail Ruiz Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Saraí Esther Portillo Nerio. Present teacher. Soraya Lisbeth Araujo Méndez. Present teacher. And Susana Carolina Paula López. Present teacher. Excellent. Welcome back. Let's start our class. Today is Monday. Okay. So today we have a conversation and I just sent it to your WhatsApp. Eh, se ha enviado esa conversación a su WhatsApp. Ok, para que la podamos utilizar. Ok, vamos a volar este día. Vamos a avanzar bastante, si es posible, dentro del contenido de la plataforma. Y vamos a ver algo nuevo. Vamos a hablar uh, sobre there is and there are. Les recuerdo y les suplico que pongan su nombre completo y enciendan su cámara, porfa, en la medida de lo posible. Okay, so let's start. I have sent you this picture of your conversation to your WhatsApp. Let me <laughs> share it really quick. Okay, this is what you have on your WhatsApp, okay? And can you see? Yes. yes. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. It's on your WhatsApp too. Okay. So listen and then we will practice. Okay. 
it says, this apartment is great. Yes. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna just read it and repeat. Voy a leer y ustedes repiten por sí solos. Luego vamos a comparar, okay? Voy a elegir a dos de ustedes al azar, como siempre, para eh, identificar áreas de oportunidad, okay? So, let's go. Okay, first it says, this apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. Furniture. What do you need? What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. One more time. This apartment is great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay, I need two volunteers. Uh, what about Santos Miguel and let me see who's here. Ana Lidia Hernandez Perez, would you? Present. Okay. okay. <laughs> let's go with <laughs> Ana Lidia and Santos Miguel, okay? Ready, one, okay. two, three, action. This okay, this apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. It's bad and really fun for for me. So. Mm -hmm. Santos, what do you need? <clears throat> no, escucho. Okay, continuamos. What do you need? Don't listen. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some shoes in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. Okay, I think we lost Santos. Um, sí, perdimos al compañero Santos. Okay, conexión de internet. Bien, eh, very good. Um, Ana Lidia, repeat. I really need, I really need. I really need. Need, need. need. Okay, okay. Okay, ya estoy nuevamente. Ahí estamos, okay. Bien, let's, vamos a continuar. Usted es Chris, ¿verdad? Usted es Chris, okay. Let's continue. Okay, and there's no sofa here in the living room. And there are a new chairs. Mm -hmm. There only the lamp. Okay, so let's go shopping next weekend. Good, good job. Okay, so let's repeat. Um, Ana Lidia, repeat. Need. Need. Repeat. Things. Things. Okay, you, you say things. 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 Es como una Z, eh? La TH hace una Z siempre, chicos. Things. Things. Uh -huh. Better. Repeat. Chairs. 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 Uh -huh. La A y la I se convierten en una E. Y digo chairs. 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 
Very good. Okay, siguiente, eh, Ana Lidia sería, there isn't a table. Repeat, there isn't a table. There isn't a table. Good. Okay, Santos, repitamos, here. 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 Very good. Ana Lidia, any chairs? Any chair. Chairs. Chair. Very good. Ana Lidia, there's only this lamp. There's. There. Only this lamp. Only this lamp. Good. Good job. Okay. Two more volunteers. Hi, Dalia. Dalia, Hi. thank you. Doralicia. Laura. Doralicia, Hi. okay. <laughs> yes, Doralicia. Okay. Dalia and Doralicia. One, two, three, action. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there, and there is no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There is only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Good girls, good job. Okay, great job. Now, just one thing, solo una cosa. We say et, cuando it aparece como pronombre, no como sujeto, lo pronuncio como et. Es decir, cuando okay. está al final de la oración. I love, I love it. it. I love, I love it. it. I love it. Correct, so you say, I love it. I, I love it. it. Okay, I and, love it. Mm -hmm. and then who was second? And Dora, we say, Lots of things. I need lots of things. I need lots of things. Lots I need lots things. of things. Excellent. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm going to split you now in groups so you can practice the conversation. Okay, small groups and please practice. Bien, les pido que para ahorrar tiempo no digan eh, va usted, no, va usted, voy yo, vaya, voy yo con fulana, eh, después va fulano, después va fulano, y me tomé cinco minutos organizándome. So, de una sola vez, el que quiera practicar, que empiece con la conversación, ahí está ya, ¿no? En el grupo de WhatsApp, de igual manera, les he habilitado la opción de compartir, para que cualquiera en el grupo pequeño comparta su pantalla, si tiene la habilidad de hacerlo, ¿ok? Good, let's go. Hello. Hi. Hi. So. Voy a comenzar yo. Y yo también. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need a lot of things. There, there are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there, and there aren't any chairs. There only... So let's go shopping next weekend. Ahí voy a comenzar yo en esto. Ahí voy a seguir. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? You say furniture. 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 Mm -hmm. Oh, I need a lot of things. 
there there are some shire in the kitchen, but there's isn't that man is great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. Um, there's a no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So we go uh, shopping this weekend. Okay, next. One more. These are okay. Okay. Can I put on a new hot pitch? Puede ser yo linda o Chris, cualquiera. Another time. I'm Chris. I am Chris. Good. Hola. Hello. Yeah. I am Chris now. Vaya, puede ser yo linda. Okay. This. This apartment is gray. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. Mm -hmm. What do you need? Okay, they are some chairs in the kitchen, but they isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And they aren't any shade. They're only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Ana Lidia, okay. contigo. Yeah. Some furniture. Uh, what do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There's some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Good All right. Job. Okay, next. Great job. <laughs> okay, yo sería. Yo sería, creo que. Chris, creo que es. Va, yo soy linda entonces. Ah, yeah. Okay. Si, si es bien linda, es cierto. <laughs> Keep going, guys. Good job. Some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there is a table. Okay. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. Any chair, chairs, the chairs, chairs, chairs. 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 Olvidemos de, de la I y la A, es una E. Chairs, chairs, chairs. any chairs. chairs. There's only this lamp. Okay, so let's go shopping next weekend. Good. Okay, <laughs> next. Okay. Hoy iban los compañeros, no sé si ellos van a participar. Do it again. This apartment is great. Ten. I love you. She really needs. Sound future. What what do you need? Okay. 
Okay, I think Jose Mario is having problems again with the internet. Oh, need to let say there is some chair in the chicken, but there is the there in the table. And there is no sofa here in the living room. Jose Mario? Creo que tiene um, problem. There are uh, any chairs. There is only the lamp. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next week. Lo siento, weekend. teacher. Tengo problemas con el audio. Sí, sí, sí. No, es la conexión de internet. Eh, trata de estar cerca del router, José Mario, ¿ok? Let's go. Okay, let's continue, guys. So, uh, si notaron, pues hay nueva gramática dentro del video que no hemos visto, eh? algo que no hemos visto dentro de nuestras clases, que es there is and there are. Eh, pues les voy a explicar súper rápido. There is y there are se ocupa para hablar simple y llanamente de la existencia de algo. ¿Ok? Solo para eso lo ocupo, para hablar de la existencia de algo. Al decir there is o there are, solamente estoy diciendo hay. ¿Ok? Solo estoy diciendo hay. Hay una, hay uno, hay unas, hay unos, no hay ninguna, no hay ninguno, hay algunos... Hay algunas, ¿ya? Entonces, eh, es muy importante aclarar que esto solo lo voy a ocupar con objetos, no con otros verbos. Mi auxiliar será el verbo to be. Antes de continuar, eh, quiero, quiero hacer un, algo, porque como yo les comparto este video a ustedes, eh, pues es muy importante, debido al, al corto tiempo que tenemos, una hora, eh, pues que ustedes practiquen para poder mejorar su pronunciación, ok? So, voy a leer nada más de nuevo esta, esta conversación y una vez les envíe el video, pues véanlo en YouTube, ábranlo cuantas veces sea necesario, eh, véanlo cuantas veces sea necesario en esta parte específicamente, ok? So, muy despacio y luego rápido, ok? This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. One more time. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. So in contexto, la gramática que vamos a ver está allí en la conversación. There is, there aren't. ¿Cómo lo ocupo? Me voy a adelantar. 
this apartment. En el video para que ustedes vayan viendo lo que ya les envié a su chat de WhatsApp. So tengo there is a bed in the bedroom. Okay? There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. Okay? So, vamos a romper esto eh, como te sugiero que hagas con cada estructura gramatical o cada tiempo que tú veas. Una, una oración que tú puedas ver donde sea, que leas un libro o algo. Tienes que ir desglosando la oración en cada parte, ¿no? La palabra there, por sí sola, eh, significa allí. ¿Ok? Muchos de ustedes ya captaron que este apóstrofe S es el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Entonces tengo there is. ¿Ok? Luego tengo un artículo. A. Porque estoy hablando de singulares en este ejemplo. Del lado izquierdo tengo singulares, del lado derecho tengo plurales, ¿ok? There is a bedroom. Yo solo voy a ocupar este ejemplo para aterrizar lo que queremos decir. Y del lado izquierdo tengo positivas y negativas. Luego el ejemplo en negativo sería there's. Repito, esto es there is. ¿Ok? Para negar, en esta forma puedo decir there is no o there is not. ¿Ok? Ok. Si digo there's no, no ocupo el artículo. There's no sofa. There's no table. There's no air. There's no coffee. There's no life. Objetos. También los objetos pueden ser incontables, intangibles, que no los puedo tocar. ¿Ok? Lo que mencioné son objetos incontables e intangibles. Water, air, agua, aire. ¿Qué? Paint, pintura. Sand, arena. Todo lo que te imaginas que no se puede contar por sí solo, que necesite una unidad de medida, es incontable. ¿Estamos claros en eso? Bien. En estado, eh, perdón, en americano, en inglés, eh, el pan es incontable. Bread. Ok. Eh, la mantequilla es incontable. Y la confusión, el dinero es incontable. Algo muy mal hecho en español, que probablemente hayas escuchado de algún analista económico político en nuestro país. Los dineros del pueblo. Mm -mm. El dinero del pueblo, ok. Eso es como decir las azúcares. Mm. Sí, sí, espero que me estén entendiendo. Ajá, las sales tampoco. Necesito una unidad de medida. Measurement, ¿ok? Y pues investiguen un poco de esto porque pues acá no, no se abarca mucho, ¿no? Pero sí, rápido se lo digo y por eso lo estoy diciendo en español. Um, para poder medir algo incontable necesito una unidad de medida como libras, kilos, metros, pulgadas, bolsas, ¿ya? So, a bag of sugar, a pound of sugar, a kilo of rice, ¿ok? Y para contar el dinero, ¿qué necesito? ¿Huh? Okay. I need currency. I need currency. Necesito moneda. Moneda, ¿ok? El dinero se cuenta con moneda. Currency. One dollar, two dollars, three dollars, one million. ¿Verdad? No digo un dinero, dos dineros, tres dineros. Ese es el punto. Ok. So, <coughs> sigamos. So, there is no, ya no ocupo artículo. Voy de un solo con el objeto. Voy a ocupar la palabra dinero para que les quede el recuerdo. There's no money. No hay dinero. There's no money. Sin embargo, okay, no puedo decir there isn't a money. Seguiría con el there isn't money, there isn't sugar. Ok. So, there isn't a table, dice el ejemplo. Ok. Si lo puedo contar, le agrego el artículo. Si no, no. 
Espero que seamos claros con eso. Vamos a desglosar esto de la siguiente manera. Voy a ocupar there más el verbo to be más un artículo, si lo gustas. Si aplica, ocupa un artículo. En este caso le vamos a llamar complemento. ¿Ok? Si voy a ocupar la segunda forma, pues siempre voy a ocupar there más el verbo to be en singular. Estamos hablando de singulares. Más el complemento. Que en este caso, lo principal del complemento es el objeto. Y lo, prácticamente aquí ocurre lo mismo. Y aquí voy a agregar la palabra no. Ok. Acá. There isn't. Aquí va la negación. To be must not. Y el complemento. There isn't a table, there is not time, there isn't time. Okay. Right now. Ahorita les envío esto a su WhatsApp. Questions. ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? Teacher, mm. solo confirmando, mencionó que cuando el objeto es contable, si sí le ponemos el artículo A. Sí, si es contable en singular. Sí. Ahorita estamos viendo singulares. Si es contable en singular, le agrego el artículo A. O AN. Okay. ¿Se acuerdan que vimos eso? ¿verdad? A o AN. Yes. A, ok, A before consonant. And before vowel. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? There is a panda next to Abigail. Next to Sarai. There is a panda next to Sarai. Junto a Sarai. Okay. Se me fue. Ok, sabiendo que tiene un panda ya a la par. Ok, Fátima Karina, there is a shelf next to you. There is a shelf next to you. Hay un estante, right? There is a shelf. You see? There is a shelf. There is a fan. There is a fan above Doralicia. There is a fan. A fan. Above Doralicia. Sobre Doralicia. And so on. Can you give me an example? Let me see. Saraya Abigail, can you give me an example? There is a pilot. Pilot. Creo que sería Armada. Dice Pronos. ¿Cómo? Pilot. Pilot. There is a pilot. Mm, a pillow. Una almohada. Ah. There is a pillow. Ajá. Uh -huh. In my bedroom, diría, ¿verdad? En mi, en mi habitación. Yes. There is a pillow in my bedroom. Very good. Hazel. There is a picture in my living room. There is a picture. Good. Okay. Ana Silvia. There is a curtain in the window. There's a curtain. There's a curtain in the window. Good. Ojo con la contracción es muy utilizada. There's a. There's no. There isn't. Trovemos una negativa, Sara y Esther. There isn't mirror. In my bedroom. Uh, in my bedroom. Good. There isn't a mirror. A mirror in my bedroom. Good job. Okay. Let's see. Kenya, Selena. Negative. Singular. Singular. Negative. There is no chair in the kitchen. There's no chair in the kitchen. Perfect. Okay, Diana Angélica. Daniel. 
Dania? Eh, en negativo. In negative, that's right. There's no sofa in my bedroom. There's no sofa in my bedroom. Very good. You can say that you can say also there isn't a sofa in my bedroom. There is no sofa in my bedroom. There isn't a sofa in my bedroom. Honey, Stephanie Amilet. Okay. Stephanie, can you use honey? Ok, si su cámara está apagada, lo voy a empezar a elegir, chicos. Vamos a ver. Eh, Carla Beatriz. Give me an example in negative. There isn't a computer on the table. There isn't a computer in, a in the table. Very good. On the table. On the table. On the table. Very good. Let's see. Lorena y Esenia, can you try? Ojalá que le sirve el internet. Vamos a ver. Lorena y Esenia. Okay. Good. Let's move on. There's no time. Listen. There's no time. No hay tiempo. There's no time. Okay. Bien. Super rápido. How do you say no hay comida in English? ¿Cómo se dice no hay comida en English? How do you say no hay comida in English? Anybody, anybody, come on. There's no food. There's no There food. Is no food. Very mm -hmm. good. No hay café. There's no coffee. There's no coffee. Ok. Mm. Entonces, ¿no hay dinero? There's, there's no money. There is money. There Repeat. Is no money. Money. No money. There's no money. No quiero ir money, please. No money. Okay, money. There is no money. Okay. ¿Y cómo digo no hay nadie? There is no body. Good. There's no body. There's no one. There's no body. Es lo mismo, eh. No one, nobody es lo mismo. No one, nobody. Yeah. There's no one. There's no one in the house. There's nobody in the house, okay? There's nobody in the house. There's good job. Nobody. Okay, good job, guys. Now, let's go with to better the plurals, okay? Let's understand the plurals. plurals really quick. So, with plurals, is the same thing. With plurals, you will have the same thing. Vas a necesitar de air the verb to be en plural, ¿ok? Puedes ocupar some, ¿ok? Si sí se puede ocupar some. ¿Ok? Y luego vas a ocupar el complemento que debe de ir en plural. O debe de contener un plural object. ¿Ok? Un objeto en plural. Look at the examples. There are some chairs in the kitchen. Okay. Hay algunas sillas en la cocina. Ojo, es kitchen. Te puedes confundir con la, la palabra chicken. ¿verdad? Es kitchen. Kitchen. Okay. Entonces, este, este ejemplo de plurales voy a ocupar con are. Porque are es para plurales. Right? Yo podría decir there are chairs in the kitchen. Ok. Puedo decir there are chairs in the kitchen. ¿Por qué no? Hay sillas en la cocina. Puedo decir mm -hmm. que hay algunas sillas en la cocina. Ok. Y de igual manera, con el ejemplo anterior, tengo there are no chairs in the living room para negar. Okay, there are no chairs in the kitchen or in the living room. Or I can also say there aren't, ojo con la contracción, 
there are no, there are, there are not, or there aren't any chairs in the living room. Okay, teacher, ¿y por qué aquí ocupo any? Okay, any se ocupa en negativas y en preguntas. Apunta eso, any se ocupa en negativas y en preguntas. Pero nota la diferencia. Any solo lo puedo ocupar con el not, más no cuando digo no. Ok. There are no chairs. There are no chairs in the room. Pero no puedo decir there are no any chairs. Mm -mm. Ok. There aren't chairs. There aren't any chairs. Okay, give me your examples. I need your examples. Negatives or positive. There are, acuérdense que estamos con plurales. Let's go with Susana Paula. Ya sea positivo o negativo, Susana Paula, pero plural. There are some pencils in the table. There are some pencils on the table. Good. Good, Jose Mario. Good. There are some cops. Very, very good. There are some cops. Karen and Stephanie? Yes. Mm -hmm. Give me an example. There are or there are no or there aren't. There are some, some for time in the bedroom. There are some, I'm sorry. Karen, again, se le estaba cortando. Curtains. Oh, curtains. Curtains. Curtains on the bedroom. The bedroom. Yeah, there are some curtains on the bedroom. There are a lot of cars in my country. There are a lot of cars in my country. Very good, Carlos Jose. Good job. Carolina Elizabeth. Uh, there are some apples in the kitchen. Apples. Apples. Ojo, es importante la pluralización para darte a entender, eh? Más en este ejemplo. There are, there are some apples in the, in the fridge. There, there are some apples in the kitchen. In the kitchen, okay, good. Good job. Okay, Ricardo Albino. There are books in the school. Again, there are in the school. Oh, there are kids in the school. Books. Se te corta, eh, Ricardo. No se puede entender, perdón. Eh, ok, vamos con Laura Carolina. Okay, let's see. Lorena Yesenia. Hmm. Try to give me an example. Vamos a tratar de dar un ejemplo. Son plurales. There are some window in the house. There are some windows. Very good. There are some windows in the house. Okay. Let me select. Okay. Carla Beatriz again. Carla Beatriz, ¿podría darnos un ejemplo de negativa? There aren't any... Mm, any books in the living room? There aren't any books in the living room. Perfect. Uh -huh. Jose Mario? Mm. 
Okay. Good. Fatima Karina, un ejemplo más. One more example. There are some flowers in my garden. There are some flowers in my garden. Perfect. Okay, guys, do you have any question? Questions? Yo tengo una teacher. Yes? Se puede mencionar, digamos, yo tengo dos computadoras en mi cuarto. O sea, se puede pronunciar la cantidad que tengo. Mm, solo que ahí dijiste yo tengo. Y estamos viendo... Oh, hay, hay, hay dos ah, computadoras. Claro que se puede. Perfect. Yes. ¿Cómo lo harías? Mm, sería. They are two. They are. There are uh -huh. two computers in my bedroom. Excellent. Yes, in my bedroom. Very good. There are two computers in my bedroom. Like that, good job. Y aún si fuesen más. There are 20 desks in the classroom. Good. José Mario, yes. There are books in the school, decía Ricardo. Okay, there are books in the school. There are 20 desks in the classroom. Good job. Okay, questions? Any other question? Any other question? Necesita buena la oración que le envié. Claro que sí, te decía que está perfecto. There are 20 desks in the classroom. Good job. Okay. Understand how to talk about. So, again, you have there plus is or isn't a or no. O sea, tienes la opción de decir a para afirmar o no para negar, or isn't para negar también. Ok. Are you sure there are no questions? ¿Seguro que no hay otra pregunta? All clear. Ok. Les recuerdo que en su plataforma tienen estos ejercicios para poder eh, practicar también. ¿Mm? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta correcta? Y hasta ahorita, en este módulo, todavía tendrán opciones. O sea, que no puede usar este el how. Claro que sí, pero para practicar vamos a ocupar there is o there are. ¿Ok? Hasta que lo tengamos bien. Y claro que sí se puede. I have some chairs in the kitchen. Yo tengo. Pero ahorita estamos hablando de hay. O no hay. ¿Ok? Singular or plural. So, I have some chairs in the kitchen or... There, there, are, some chairs in the kitchen. there are some chairs in the kitchen and so on. I have a stove in the kitchen. There, There's a stove in the kitchen. There's no stove in the kitchen. There are some stove in the kitchen. There isn't a stove. There's, there are... Ok, ahora una pregunta. Y esto se me olvidó. Este es de selección múltiple. ¿Puedo elegir alguna otra respuesta y sería correcta? Chairs in the kitchen. There's no chairs. There's no chairs. There's no chairs. Ahí es donde se pueden confundir porque is es para singulares. Y estamos hablando de Plural. En plural. eso, fíjense mucho en eso. This is plural, there, right? Chairs. So? There are no chairs. What about number two? A stove. Good. There's a, There's a stove in the kitchen. Okay. ¿Cuál otro podría ocupar? There isn't a stove. There isn't, there isn't a stove in the kitchen. In the kitchen. Solo eso. There's no. There's no stove in the kitchen too. Come on. Let's see. Oh, no puedo darle submit a esta parte. Okay. Good. And so on. Okay. Vamos a hacer esto eh, por propia cuenta. Esto es reading. Es un reading que está en su uh, lección 2.11 ok let me see really quick hi everyone 
details. Reading. So, Two esto solo es una lectura, chicos, para que ustedes puedan practicar lectura, ¿ok? So, look at it. Está ahí para que ustedes lo puedan practicar. Special houses in the American Southwest. There is a purple house. Ok, y tiene que ver con el tema que acabamos de ver para que ustedes practiquen identificando oraciones. So, listen and identify. Necesito que escuchen e identifiquen por lo menos dos oraciones con there is o con there are. Permítanme un segundo. So, let's see. It says, in San Antonio, Texas, there is a purple house. This house is the home of Sandra Cisneros. Miss Cisneros is a Mexican-American writer. She is famous for her interesting stories. The house has a porch with a pink floor. The rooms are green, pink and purple. There are many books and colorful paintings. Many other houses near Mrs. Nero's house are white or beige. So her house is very different. Some of her neighbors think her house is too colorful, but Mrs. Neros loves it. So where are the sentences? ¿Dónde están las oraciones con lo que acabamos de ver? There is a purple, there is a purple house. Purple house. Good, good. Go ahead, draw on the screen if you want. Good. There are, there are many, there are many books on colorful paintings. Good. Okay. What else? That's it, right? Yeah, those two. That's it. Repeat. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay, let's look at the second part. Every year, many people visit Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Tribes. Most people stay in hotels, but some people stay in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. Hogan's. Lorraine Nelson, a teacher from Arizona, invites visitors to stay in her Hogan. It has three chairs, two beds on the floor, and a wood burning stove. Miss Nelson teaches her guests about Native American traditions. Hmm. ¿Hay en alguna oración el there is o el there are? It has three chairs. It has three chairs. ¿Podría reemplazarlo con? There are. There are. There are. Good. There are three chairs. Yes. That's the way. Correct. There are three chairs. Ok. Remember, acuérdense que estamos estudiando qué tiempo gramatical. Siente. Present. 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 present simple, simple present. Very good. So that's the whole purpose of this lecturing. Try to read it again, okay, and understand. Look for the simple present sentences. And let's do that right now. We don't have too much time, but okay, let's do that. Can you identify on the second reading the simple present sentences? ¿Qué oraciones pueden identificar con presente simple? Ocupen su lápiz de Zoom si gustan también. Many people visit Arizona. Ok. To learn about Native American tribes. ¿Dónde empieza esa oración? Con many people, ¿verdad? 
Many okay. people he sits. ¿Será ese el sujeto? Many people. Many people. ¿Cómo reemplazo el sujeto? ¿Con qué sujeto reemplazo ese many people? They. 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 Very good. Luego que dice la regla que necesito un verbo, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el verbo? Visit. Visit. They. Visit. They. Visit. Okay. Y el complemento estaría compuesto por qué? Arizona to learn. Ajá, uh -huh, today. Arizona to learn about Native American tribes. Right. Native, uh -huh. Native American tribes. Native American tribes. Native. Uh -huh. to, visit Arizona, to learn about Native American tribes. Native American tribes. Very good. Okay. Y si sí, alguien me decía, ¿puedo tener dos verbos en el presente simple juntos? Sí, pero necesitas separarlos por la preposición to, como en el ejemplo. Many people visit Arizona to learn. Ya había ocupado visit, ahora ocupo to learn about Native American tribes. Ok. Lo mismo pasa con el siguiente, la siguiente oración, ¿no? Most people stay in hotels. ¿Puede alguien desglosarme esa oración? Uh, subject, verb, complement. Ajá, vamos identificándolo. Uh, most people, subject. Okay, verb, simple present. Uh -huh. In hotels, complement. That's it. Y vuelve a iniciar. Ahora ocupa un conector. But, some people, otra vez el sujeto, Stay, verbo, yes. in traditional Native American homes called Hogan's. That's it. Ok, bien, les dejo eso para que ustedes vayan pensando cómo se desglosa cada oración dentro de esa lectura. Good guys, se nos acabó el tiempo. Let's go with the attendance one more time, ok? I'll see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. Ana Lidia Hernández Pérez. Present. Ana Silvia Rodríguez Osorio. Present. Andrea Esmeralda Arevalo Campos. Gracias. Thank you very much. De verdad que me salvó el pellejo. Ok. Ok. Let's do it again. Please smile. Good. One. Two. Thank you very much. Okay, tengo a Mary's Abigail. Ahí está. Okay. Good. Smile one more time. Thank you. Okay. Good, guys. Let me continue with the attendance. Andrea Esmeralda Arevalo Campos. Okay. Carlos José Blanco de León. Present. Thank you. Carolina Elizabeth Hernández Present. Amaya. Present. Thank you. Dalia Lilibet Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Dania Angélica Merlos Valle. Present. Dora Alicia Rauda. Present. Stephanie Yamilet Ayala Costa. Fátima Karina Rodríguez Ábalos. Present. Hazel Frances La Cruz Present. Present. Thank you. Thank you. Jeremías Alexander Rivas Leiva. Thank you. Jeremías Alexander Rivas Leiva. Ok. José Mario Hernández Santos. Sí, sé que estás ahí, José Mario. José Mario Hernández. Karen Astrid Luna Portillo. José Mario. Present. Karen Astrid Luna Portillo. Karen Estefania Argueta Escobar. Present. Karen Estefania Argueta Escobar. Present. Carla Beatriz López Mejía. Carla Beatriz López Mejía, Kenia Celina Castillo Franco, Kenia Celina Castillo Franco, Laura Bertila Present. Campos Claros, Laura Present. Bertila Campos Claros, okay. Laura Carolina Mejíbar Argueta, Present. Leonel Hernández Pérez, Lady Julisa Recinos Portillo. Lady Julissa Presión. Ok, Lorena Yesenia Méndez Trejo. 
Okay. Lorena Yesenia Méndez Trejo. Present. Mario Ernesto Mejía Portillo. Mario Ernesto Mejía Portillo. Mary Sabiga El Fuente de, Val de Velázquez. Mary Sabiga El Fuente Present. de, Val de Velázquez. Ricardo Albino Hernández Pérez. Ricardo Albino Hernández Pérez. Hey, Santos Miguel Martínez Portillo. Present. Hey, Santos Miguel Martínez Portillo. Present. Saraí Abigail Ruiz Hernández. Saraí Abigail Ruiz Hernández. Okay. Saraí Esther Portillo Nerio. Saraí Esther Portillo Nerio. Saraí Lisbeth Araujo Méndez. Present teacher. Araujo Thank you. Susana Present teacher. Carolina Paula López. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Los veo mañana a la 1 p.m., ¿ok? Okay. Take care. Take care. Please study. Bye-bye.